Hi everybody, Tom here from CSI. Today's video is going to be something fun. We have a 1960 Corvette that just came in. At first, in the sun, the car looks great. Uh, it's fully color sanded and rubbed, uh, looks nice and flat, doesn't have any exposed orange peel in it. But when you bring it in the shop, you can see a lot of sand scratches that just weren't taken out. Customers said that the uh, car was painted 10 years ago and he, you know, he didn't notice these things, um, but maybe he just wasn't looking carefully enough. What we're going to do is we're going to go over, you know, if you've been polishing for a while, you know that you have run into this experience many, many times. Somebody is color sanding and rubbing and they just get in a hurry or they're using products with the word filler and they polish it out and the scratches seem to come back. We're going to talk about um, the word filler, that that isn't really a word. There's no product in any formulation that's called filler. Uh, but there are lots of products that um, the components come out of. And, you know, the, the component, you've watched my other videos, the componentry is called an emulsion. And the idea is to keep that emulsion tight. With CSI, I, I believe that we have a super clean, super tight emulsion where all the components stay together. So when you do wipe it off, you wipe off as much residue as can be wiped off. There's nothing left behind on the surface. Um, and, you know, we prove that by actually painting over a CSI polished surface with just wiping it off, not using any solvent pre or anything, and not getting any fish eyes if you do that. So if you're a painter, you know, like, that that's like impossible. You've used compounds before, uh, you sanded, you've polished, and then you go back because you miss something and you go back with sandpaper on something you just polished and the sandpaper will clog up really, really fast because of all the exposed uh, products that are left behind. With CSI, that won't happen. So the cleanup on CSI is an absolute must for me as a body shop person. And, um, you know, I want that to be something that you like, too. Uh, you may not know that that's in there if you're, you know, a detailer and you're not a painter. But if you are a painter and you're working in a body shop, that is going to be a must. That, that surface is clean. When you're done, that surface is clean. If you miss something, you're going to see it right away. You're not going to have to wait, like us right now, 10 years later, to see, you know, issues that... Uh, um, you know, are there. And, you know, I, I think that if, um, you know, this customer were going to sell this car, this car would sell for a lot more money if it didn't have exposed sand scratches. So we're going to go through the process of polishing with a wool pad using a rotary and why a rotary is absolutely imperative to learn how to use a rotary. It's easy to use. Um, as a little boy working in a body shop, we didn't have DAs, you know, I'm talking back in the 60s. Well, actually, probably, uh, yeah, 69, 69, 1969. I started working in my dad's shop. Um, I was a little boy and, um, you know, we had a Sioux buffer with one speed, weighed a lot. I was just a little, little boy. And, uh, you know, I could get, I did get in a lot of trouble with that buffer. It, it was, it was horrible. And then the products that they had out there were nasty. So you're using this gravelly product with a, with a tool that has no adjustments and it just wreaked havoc on a car. I think that a lot of people think that's, you know, that's what a rotary is today and they're totally wrong. Rotaries are very, very easy to use and anybody can learn how to use a rotary. You'll see if you scroll through our um, um, YouTube station, I went to a, um, uh, it was a camp for inner city kids. And we had little boys who just wanted to 
really hang out with us. Um, they, they were fatherless in a lot of cases. And they, they just wanted to hang out and, you know, they had an opportunity to do some buffing and it was, it was fun to show them to put a buffer in their hands. And these were little boys and put a buffer in their hand and, and have them use a rotary on a, on a panel that uh, we brought out. So that's how I was taught. My dad taught me the same way. Um, I feel I have, um, you know, something uh, about the service that CSI provides is my experience. And these were scary, scary things that I, you know, I was petrified, uh, petrified of not pleasing my dad in the body shop. And, um, you know, when I did start to understand it, I could see that he was happy that I, I started to understand process in the body shop. And then that would take me on to all the other um, things that you would have to learn in the body shop. But this would be one of the first technical processes that I had to learn. So the name of this video is, Can There Be a Better Way? And I believe there can be <laughs> than uh, all the multiple products. We at CSI only teach one single product and we believe you don't need any thing called a compound, anything. There's no need to use compound in a body shop. Now, a lot of body guys were, oh, come on, Tom. Come on, we need compound. All right, let's go nose to nose. You've seen the videos that I've done in the past, uh, taken 600 grit out with CSI ceramics, and I've done 320 grit. A lot of people have seen that at trade shows. Tom, show us what it can really do. Obviously, you gotta put a lot of paint on the surface. You, you know, you're gonna bear down really, really hard, uh, but because the product is water-based, it insulates the surface so that it doesn't um, make the paint sticky. Because if you know any of you guys out there, you used a, a product that had a lot of solvent in it, it actually, you know, you could smell the solvent when you're buffing with it. And it kind of burns the inside of your nose uh, when you're buffing with it. Well, what do you think that's gonna do to paint? Especially when you bear down. And that's another difference with CSI. We don't have those kind of exposed solvents. Do we have solvents in our product? Absolutely. But they're buried inside the emulsion. And it keeps, the emulsion is, is a water-based emulsion. The water is the insulator that keeps everything nice and tight. So we're gonna go through the process of using a, a wool pad, getting in the nooks and crannies, and then using a DA with our new system of polishing with a DA. We only have two different kind of DA pads, and I'm gonna use both DA pads. I'm gonna use the wool pad to take out the exposed um, color sanding scratches that uh, whoever the last guy was didn't get out. And, um, and I'm not saying it's his fault. I'm saying it's the product's fault. Whatever product he was using did not show him that he was leaving behind those sand scratches. A week later, after the car's delivered, boom, 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 all these sand scratches come back because the oils dissipate and, you know, the customer's left with a, a car that, uh, you know, you really can't enjoy as much as um, what you're going to see the transform, transformation happen on this 1960 Corvette. And the car is beautiful. It is beautiful. And whoever did it, you know, did a really nice job block sanding all the orange peel and he just didn't finish it. So we'll use the wool pad, get into the nooks and crannies, and then we'll use a, a cutting uh, pad for the DA to take out any towel scratches and swirl marks that might be in this car. And then we'll finish the car with the red foam pad, um, the exact same red foam pad that we use uh, or the exact same um, PPI of the red foam pad that we use on a rotary, we now have for a DA, a five inch DA. And we promote a five inch DA. If you have a six inch DA, we, we don't have pads for six inch DA. I believe that you know, when you start messing with a six inch DA, it's gonna bump into places that a five inch DA won't. So that's why I only promote a five inch DA. So, uh, use whatever pads that you have if you have a six inch DA, but if you want to use our pad system, five inch um, 
DA with this blue cutting foam to take out, you know, like I said, the swirl marks and um, towel scratches, and then go over it with the red foam pad. With and the, all of this is being done with ceramics. We're, we haven't even touched D1 yet, and and I'm not going to do any D1 on this. This is a total driver. This is not a show car. This is a beautiful, beautiful car, and we can get to an absolute perfect finish using only ceramics. If you were you know, a custom shop and you're doing super, super high-end paint work, then I would say once you get it perfect with ceramics, then move on to D1 to enhance that finish even further. But in this video, we're going to just keep it simple. Wool pad, nooks and crannies, dig out all the color sanding marks. Uh, we're going to use a three-inch uh, rotary. And then we're going to use the big rotary too to get into these areas. I'm going to show you, you know, why you would use a three inch and why you would use a, a bigger um, wool pad. And, um, uh, you know, we'll do, probably do picture in picture here where I pull back this video right here. And then uh, we just do an instructional video on, um, you know, how to, how to do each one of these steps. It should go pretty fast. And, um, you know, I hope it helps. So uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to call me. I'll, I'll post my phone number up here on the screen. It's 714-906-6619. Thanks for listening, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. All right. Um, as you can see, we're going to be doing this in direct sun. And one of the things I want to go through and make a little video on the three different types of tools that we're going to go through. And I'll go through the reasons. Um, the noise you hear in the background is a high performance Corvette. <laughs> and it's, uh, you know, we're at a Corvette shop. So I'm going to run into that kind of stuff from time to time. But um, these three tools, the three inch, three-inch uh, Milwaukee uh, and you know you've seen me use the flex uh, oscillating three-inch which is a great tool but I'm going to show you this tool too this this tool has it's inexpensive and it works really good we have all the pads so whether you're using foam pads or wool pads we have all the pads to you know work really well with this system wool pad to get into these um, you know nooks and crannies and I'll I'll take the video from the back side so you can actually see how it removes those uh, color sanding scratches that we uh, that we have there and then we're going to use the big rotary you know if the scratches are worse and but even for these areas you can get right into these areas especially with this double-sided pad this double-sided pad is, is really a neat pad. It lasts forever. Um, it is made for the marine industry, but you can buy it and you know, put it on your buffer. There is a little extension that you need to put on here so the, the opposite side of the pad doesn't uh, hit your buffer. This is the Flex Rotary. Great tool. You know I promote battery all the way. I don't want to use corded tools anymore at all, and I don't need to. Um, since we got involved with uh, Flex, I've never picked up another corded tool. I don't, don't need to. Even doing demos all over the country, I'm just using a, a battery power tool. And the batteries last long enough to be charging another battery too. So, uh, great tool. Rotary with the double-sided pad and the extension. And then, for final, this 5-inch DA, battery-powered. We do have two pads. We have the blue cutting foam. And then we have the really fine red foam finishing pad. Most of this car will be done with this pad, but I'll show you, you know, where you can use the, um, you know, the, the other pad, the blue, five inch blue cutting foam. It will not cut like a wool pad, a rotary, but it does a great job on removing those uh, little detail scratches um, that seem a little bit too deep for this pad. So if you want this tool to be just a little more aggressive, 
use that blue foam pad. They're inexpensive pads and everything that we're talking about here works. Sorry, I'm off camera, but works with this one product, CSI Ceramics. Okay, so we've gone through the tools. Now let's get started on the car. Okay, so I know my face is off camera a little bit right here, but we took some close-up videos of these color sanding grit scratches, and I will take some more close-ups of it. But watch how simple this works. A little bit of product on the pad. It's simple. The product stays where it's supposed to. Start off a little bit slow. Just push it up into the pad, and then go to it. And remember how bad these color sanding scratches were right here. And everything just cleans up, lickety split. And we're in direct sun. Okay, so we got that side. Now we're going to come over to this side. tool is very safe to use, very aggressive to take out a color sanding scratch, and maintain that mill thickness so you don't burn through the paint. Very important. That's why we don't promote compounds. I would hate for somebody, I would be cringing if one of my employees were into these pockets using some gravelly compound in a wool pad. I'd be freaking out. Okay, it looks good. Now we're gonna wipe it off. Take a microfiber towel and wipe it off. Okay, I'm not gonna, I want you to actually see this. It's almost perfect in that little bit of time. I'm gonna pull my iPhone out we're going to shoot a video right into that corner right there so you can see it live. Direct sun. Remember what we were looking at before. Now down here in the corner I'm going to have to address that maybe by hand. You can see the scratches right there. But here, look at how nice that is. Let's see if we can follow the sunlight over there. I'm in the camera view there. So if we can get the camera, look at how nice that is. Look at how tight the, the sun is. Goes from being all frosty like that to just super, super clean and tight. The, the point of the, uh, of the sun dot just looks very, very nice. We're taking out all those scratches, all those fuzzy scratches, all with a wool pad. All right, so now we're going to do some spot buffing. You know, I, nobody wants to watch me buff this whole car out. Um, but I, I would want to tell you that I would estimate that I can go through the exterior paint on this in about three hours. So, um, you know, if you were um, a car owner, um, you know, you know, labor rates are going to be different all over the place, um, California. You know, you can demand quite a bit of uh, hourly rate, but it, I know the amount of time um, that it's going to take me to take out these kind of scratches. We're not doing any color sanding on this car, but uh, to take out all of this stuff, you know, everything that we're looking at, it's going to take about three hours. So let's do this right in the sun. This car, it's about a 80 degree day today. Uh, we are going to use the blue the blue pad, you see this, uh, this blue foam? This is the blue foam. 
This is going to be for cutting. These scratches aren't color sanding scratches, but they are a big, uh, you know, wash scratch or towel scratch or some kind of scratch. Use a little bit of the ceramics, you know, just on the back side there. Again, indirect sun, flat, light pressure, product doesn't dry out, you, even in direct sun, 80 degree day, surface temperature of over 100 degrees, this is a fairly dark color, so we're getting a nice reflection off it, the more, um, the deeper the reflection, the, you know, the darker the color, the uh, the higher the degree of the paint will be. A couple minutes, you can see the product is laying on the surface. It's not drying out. It's just right on the surface. Nothing sticks. Let's look at that. Let's analyze that surface. Big difference. You start to see how the, uh, how the sunlight is puckering up. We're getting a, a nicer ring around this area where the sun is beating down on that surface. That's with the cutting foam. So now we're going to hit it with the red foam. Come on over to the, my bag, switching to the red foam. This is the red foam. If anybody wants to know the PPIs on these foams, uh, the blue is European foam, so it, it's different. Uh, it doesn't cut like a normal PPI uh, American foam, but on the European scale, it's about an 80 but finishes like a 90. So it cuts like an 80, finishes like a 90. Now the red foam doesn't do a lot of cutting, but it has a PPI rating of 100, 100 PPI. So this is the finest pad that we make. Same product, same basic process. Keep it flat. Okay, so it's that simple. Two pads for the basic detailing. If, again, if you've got color sanding scratches, you're gonna have to use a wool pad. That is beautiful. I'm going to take some videos with uh, my iPhone and I'm going to shoot across what I just did into that upper deck where I haven't done and you're going to see a big difference in scratch patterns. Okay, this is iPhone right where I was working. You can see how nice that is. Now we're going to start moving into where I haven't done yet. And look at all the scratches there. Swirl marks, everything. And look at how nice. Look at how nice and tight that is. That little dot, it gets, you can see the ring of the sun right around the edges. We, not a lot of distortion scratches. I'm going side to side. You know, over here, obviously I haven't done. Then I come over here. And, you know, I haven't done over here, but man, where I did, that quick, that easy, in the sun, taking out those scratches. Now we are going to, uh, I'll get on camera here. Okay, we'll cut all that out. Um, really, really simple. Now we're going to go over the whole car. We're going to buff this whole car with a DA and ceramics, and I'm going to take a complete video. Um, I don't know if you saw, and I'm, I'm going to make a notation of the compound that was left behind on this car 10 years ago. CSI is never going to do that. CSI will break down with water. So the moment you hit it with water, 
all of that residue that's trapped into the um, you know hidden areas comes right out so uh, now we'll get started doing the whole car and then we'll wrap up the video here's the Corvette all cleaned up just a few hours of work went over with the blue pad on the uh, DA and then the red pad on the DA looks so much better just a tiny bit of work and it uh, really made short work of uh, making this paint job look nice Let's see if we can get the sun to put a sunspot back here there we go Very nice. Whole car looks so much better with minimal effort and only one product CSI Ceramics Polish. If you remember in the pictures, we had a bunch of compound that was left behind from the last time this car was buffed. And we went over with the uh, Q7 detailer to take out the compound. Q7 Detailer works really good as a cleanup product. It has a built-in soap in it, and it uh, helps to loosen up that, uh, especially other people's compounds. The CSI Ceramics has uh, surfactants in it to help loosen it up so it never sticks, but uh, those old-fashioned compounds have a tendency to really stick in the jams and you know just be very annoying in the detail so this is it looks great i'm gonna put this video together now and see what it looks like